basically I had uh, CFS for uh, over 24 years um, and uh, well I went through stages but uh, for uh, a good part of the time I was uh, pretty disabled uh, in fact it was uh, about the worst it's ever been pretty recently like uh, for the past uh, two years, two, three years or so, I could hardly do anything. Uh, I was uh, laying around in bed all day, uh, could barely handle the, the bare necessities of life, you know, feeding myself. You know, okay, but if I ever did any kind of exertion, afterwards I would just collapse. Uh, be in bed for uh, days, weeks, or sometimes uh, in the past I pushed myself pretty hard for longer periods and then it would, it would feel like I, I never recovered uh, it would just be years maybe a year or two just really wiped out before I would finally start to recover and get back to you know uh, normal level of CFS which is still pretty bad still unable to do anything can't work uh, social, I lost all my friends, social life, uh, pretty much non-existent, uh, and just really bored, lonely all day long, just trying to make it through the day, every day. Uh, I had orthostatic intolerance, so if, uh, standing in one place for even a few seconds, uh, or, or sitting upright like I am now, I'd be uh, really uncomfortable. Uh, have to lean up on on the wall or something. Uh, but it would be better to lie down. And so you know, I was lying down all day long, just watching TV. Um, and even that, sometimes I would get so tired that I couldn't watch TV. You know, just the visual stimulation, mental stimulation, just too tired for even that. Uh, but at the same time, I'd be all restless and uh, so wired and tired at the same time. Probably people that never experienced that have no idea what that's like, but it's, uh, it's a hellish feeling because you can't rest. You're extraordinarily tired, but, and yet you cannot rest. Uh, appetite really poor so e eating is a chore it's already a chore just to prepare the food but then you I wouldn't even really want to eat I'd be s sort of nauseated like 24 7 dealing with weight loss and then of course that you know not having the the food calories compounds the uh, fatigue and then you get hypoglycemia anyway I could go on and on so anyway, a few years ago, I, w I was, uh, I, I guess I was researching uh, natural uh, emotional therapies, um, and I just happened upon Wholehearted Healing and the Institute for Study of Peak States, uh, ISPS, and um, I tried it out, and it seemed good, and one of my friends tried it out and wholehearted healing you know it's like wow this is like a good good therapy and then I read about peak states and uh, it was like wow great looks good and uh, so I always wanted to look into it further but and my plan was to do uh, silent mind at some point but it cost seven hundred dollars so I didn't have seven hundred so I said well when I get seven hundred dollars I'll try silent mind and uh, if that works that'll be proof that these people are legit and uh, then you know life goes on and I kinda was doing other things and um, then a friend of mine uh, started getting into emotional work and I said oh I, I thought I'd introduce her to uh, wholehearted healing and so I went back on the site, and, and then I noticed that they had cooks. And I said, gee, I wonder if uh, they, they have a treatment for CFS. 
I looked it up and sure enough CFS was there so um, I gave uh, gave Grant a call and set it up and uh, and he said yeah and we have paid for results so you know we'll give you the treatment if it doesn't work a hundred percent permanently you don't pay you know I said yeah that's good because uh, what you're promising sounds pretty outlandish but they said I, I might feel cured already maybe I shouldn't use the word cure but but healed already um, and uh, you know so that was kind of the unbelievable part it's like well yeah you might need like a day <laughs> to recover you know that's how could you imagine that CFS symptoms so debilitating could just be gone just like that but even that first day after I felt markedly different I mean it used to be so bad that uh, I would be if I had to be up and doing things like say uh, preparing my meal or something like that washing the dishes preparing a bath uh, any anything just normal everyday activities I would be just moping through it just you know just barely just having to summon up so much willpower and it, just the feeling of drudgery would be overwhelming and then I would just make it through it and then have to go lie down and if at any point during any of that there was a little bobble you know like oh this little thing's in my way and so now I gotta reach and lean over a little bit further for the sponge or whatever that, that would be like a, a tremendous ordeal um, that went away very next day gone CFS gone what, what else can I say the proofs in the pudding it works um, so now it's it's uh, over three weeks later uh, and I just paid them before that didn't pay a thing they did all this work on me you know and basically gave me my life back you know I've been working every single day all kind of uh, all kind of stuff uh, the world's my oyster now um, so I'm really excited uh, I'd like to thank Grant and the ISPS and all the therapists who helped me thank you so much once again you've given me my life back it's priceless I'm eternally grateful thank you